This is the house, and we're going in to talk to Scott Pascal and Matt Lindsay all about song plugging. So you guys are song pluggers. Yes, sir. And um, how long have you been song pluggers? Well, I've been, I moved here in 80. I got my first full-time job in 84, working for Mel Tillis as a tape copy boy. Buddy Cannon was working there at the time, and Buddy, I, I was able to show Buddy fortunately that I had a good song sense, and he's the one who really pushed me to get start plugging songs with Buddy. And he went to Mel and said, hey, this guy's got a good song sense, why don't we give him an opportunity to pitch some songs? And fortunately, within a month or so after that, I got a cut on Mo Bandy. It was the first cut I ever got plugging songs. Uh, I started on the other side of the desk. I was working in production at a and I, I started with Garth Fundus in uh, 89, and the first thing he did was give me a garbage bag full of songs that had come in the mail and told me, you know, go through them, bring me what you think's good. One of the things I brought him was a song called The Woman Before Me that ended up being uh, number one record for Trisha, which is kind of how I got, you know, made my bones. Um, from there, I continued doing that, and uh, Matt and I have been friends for a long time and been talking about working together. So, uh, 2008, I went to the other side of the desk and started pitching songs, and uh, and we've been uh, we've been doing great. A lot of times, writers don't realize how hard it is for the player to get things cut. I mean, I know years ago I had a writer who was complaining that he wasn't getting the songs recorded and and he was kind of laying it all at, at our feet, the pluggers. And so I had him come in and set in on some meetings and I made sure that we played with his songs. And I think he got a real hard dose of reality. And I never told the people we were playing for that he was the writer. I just said he wants to observe. And, and uh, so at the end of that meeting, he got up and he said, I could never do your job. <laughs> he said, I will keep my mouth shut and write the best song I can write. I have to disclose that I am a, uh, I'm a client of Matt Lindsay's and Scott Pascal's, and I have not been able to find anybody in this town that doesn't think that you guys are two of the greatest guys in town. And uh, um, your reputation as song pluggers is awesome. After being with you for a while, it's easy to understand uh, why that is, because you guys put in a lot of time and a lot of work. And uh, I'm just going to pan around your office here a little bit, and uh, you can see that this is a working person's <laughs> it's a mess. Uh, situation. I mean, it's an intricate it's a these mess. guys are hard at it. <laughs> and um, I, I, I think the one thing you mentioned before, that you love songs, and you love the history of songs and all about songs. And, and I think in some cases today, we're missing that kind of deep knowledge that people have yeah, yeah. about songs. Uh, with so many songs coming into a publishing company each week, uh, some writers may get one pitch on the song and then it, it slips to the background because yeah. there's another 40 or 50 coming in right behind it. Right. And uh, I think I think your attitude of you know if I like it a lot I'm gonna plug it until I get yeah, it cut yeah. and I think I think actually that's that's something that every writer has to take the responsibility for his own catalog too. To well, I uh, think it comes back to the thing for me personally is that w when you have a lot of songs coming in like that there are going to be songs that are of the moment if you will that are their timing is right now and they're they, they're good songs. But ultimately, I feel that you, there's going to be, a, writers are going to have great songs in their catalog that are timeless. And those are the ones that stick with you for 20 years that yeah. you keep working and you don't give up yeah. on. And regardless of what's going on in the marketplace, a great song is timeless. And sometimes you may have to read them the song. I mean, you know, uh, that can happen. But in general, uh, that's where a song will stick with me for that long. It's, it's got to be something that's timeless for me. That, that I just, I just know in my heart of hearts, this is a great song, and uh, I won't quit. I'm tenacious. Yeah, tenacious M. Yeah, tenacious man. <laughs>